This playthrough is rated E for everyone. A monster that appears only at night, stealing the city's streetlights. Police are at their wit's end. What do you think? Can a gunner like you catch this giant serpent? It's just an oversized snake, right? Well, yes, but it hides in the canal. No problem. I'll just bag it before it reaches the water. Look, it's here. I'll save a spot on the front page. Leave room for my picture. So that's the big secret. Blue Gunner, shoot him! You want a piece of me? Let's rock! There's a snake in my boot! Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, we're back here with another episode of Sky Gunner. In the last episode, we won the engine during the competition. But now everyone's off doing their own thing at night, and we get monster hunting duties, I guess. But anyway, we have to destroy the snake, I think. However,. It's not just the one thing. We've got multiple um, ones of these to destroy, and all we have is our pumpkin bombs, so. And this is one of those where you can get, if you're really good, you can get like a really good combo going on with, um, with uh, like get a good uh, chain going on if you, uh, you know, destroy enough of these fast enough. Um, and these will respawn after a while, so you have to be kind of careful about how long you take to uh, uh, defeat this thing, because you see there on the meters or whatever, that's the, uh, no, that's its uh, time, so as soon as I hit zero, we, uh, ah, didn't get the credit for it, alright, come back up here, alright, let's try that again, so we can get a huge combo out of it, now, or we, we don't, alright, fine. Well, you can get huge chains out of this. I swear, I swear to you. All right, let's... there we go. We got something going on there. But you, if you do this right, you can get like a like times like a, like a eight chain or whatever you want to call it. So okay, there's the first snake. Look at that. Yeah, we got a times ten going on here. So. Yep, there's more of them. There's two more of these guys, actually. Yeah, that's how you get a huge chain going on. You hit the, you hit the main part of it with a big old bomb, and, and hopefully there's a lot of this snake back to back. And there's quite a few times during the um, chase where they'll uh, charge up together and form a like that uh, circle of a uh, circle, like electricity circle or whatever. And that's the best time to get a, um, a chain going on in them. Trying to get my pumpkin bombs off on them. Ah. Just gonna respawn here in a second. Now you can actually, you can actually fail to, uh, um, get this guy destroyed. Um, and you can still win. It's just you lose out on a lot of points if you, uh, don't, so... Gotta be a bit, oh, there we go. Ah. Okay, got that one. Look at that, a million. Yeah, you can you can get quite a few uh, bits of score here if you're lucky. Yeah, one more. Even if I get knocked down multiple times, although I might lose, uh, I might not get an SS rank by the end because I've been knocked down too many times. But we'll see what happens. Give me more pumpkin bombs. Get off. Jerks. Ah, oh, come on, man. I don't find all blast in one way. Yeah, look at that. Time 16, time 15. It's insane, don't you think? No, 
but you gotta be careful because he's shooting his own pumpkin bombs at me too. Uh oh. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully I can finish this guy off. I always, I always get like super close when it comes to this guy. Sometimes I failed a few times because uh, it took too long to get to that final little bit. There we go. Got him. What are they up to anyway? Well, it doesn't matter. Genius Gunner ends Monster's Midnight Rampage. I can see the headline already. And there we did. We we beat it. So yeah, it's a chapter three is a pretty quick one. It's basically you just fight a boss. And try to get as many points you have, and you do want to take as long as you want to, uh, as you can on that snake, so you can get the most of your combo. Because, like I said, you'll probably never get a chain this high in the game unless you know exactly what you're doing. So I was able to get like a good two million just from that. So that that'll easily, because I think Dom and CL, the most they can get from theirs, if their AIs do it properly, is like 1.5 million or something like that. So if you can get beat that, you're clearly ahead of the game. Yeah, you get all this extra score if you defeat all versions of the snake, the gold, red, and blue versions. If you don't beat one version, you can still get the credits for the ones you do destroy. You just don't. And you get, a, uh, I think at the end, Kapan goes, I can't believe I let him get away or something like that. So, But you still win the mission even if it gets away. So, And we get a bonus for our pumpkin bombs. And well, how much do we get? 1.9 million. And then total... Yeah, three million. Um, I'm trying to remember how I, I'm trying to see uh, remember what people have gotten on this one. I think people have gotten like six million on this way, getting all the chain, hitting them all of them, and then waiting till the snake does that whole because the snake multiple times, at least the red and gold one, will do the will go into a circle and shoot like like missiles or stuff at. But it'll be in a circle, so that's the best time to pumpkin bomb the main head, and you'll hit like and if you haven't destroyed any of the small ones, you could just chain this huge thing. You know, I didn't even get the Gray's chain on that, and, but I'm way ahead. And the last two missions, I don't think uh, CL and Fom can even make that much. But if we, as long as we keep with our, as we're going, we're basically just gonna wreck him and score. Like uh, Kapan gets some pretty easy ways to do that. It's crazy. That's probably why he gets so many during his run. But what awaits us as we head towards Vontor Fortress? Will it be the same as before, or will it uh, be more of a breeze as we bomb our way to victory? Find out next time in the next episode of Sky Gunner. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.